Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. And in the summertime at Missouri Star, we have a retreat that is especially for glampers. It's these cute little campers that they fixed up and they're awesome. And so I actually made this little nine patch glamper quilt to teach them a little class at their retreat. And, uh, and Natalie liked it so much that we thought, let's make a whole big quilt of it and show you how to do that for a tutorial. Also, I want to point out this little pillow. I just took one little camper, put it on the pillow, but look who's in the window. You can have so much fun with your fabric when you do these because all of this, this little quilt, this pillow, this is all just scraps of mine. So um, it's just fun to take those scraps and put things together and make these cute campers. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is one packet of 10 inch squares. And we've used Cassandra by Robert Kaufman. And I mean, it's just really fun fabric. And obviously we didn't use them all. So when you look at the quilt behind me, you can see that there's four campers across and five campers down. And so as you're cutting out and mixing up parts, we probably used about 20 of those, you're gonna need the same amount of background squares as you want campers for. So I have 20, so I'm gonna need 20 10 inch squares. You're gonna need some sashing. We cut one and a half inch strips and our sashing goes in between all of these. So you're gonna need about three quarters of a yard for that. Our outer border out here is one and a quarter yard. And this is a nice big six inch border out here. And we put this nice blue from the line on the back. You, I don't know if you can see it. You can see it every once in a while, but see our, our quilting print on this is stars and little pine trees that meander around. And I just thought that was fun because we're camping, right? All right, so our backing is about three and a half yards with horizontal seams. You're also gonna need some heat and bond light. So this is our heat and bond right here. And to make the big quilt, you're gonna need about four and a half yards. So in addition to your fabric, you're also gonna need some gray for your windows and your tow bar and some black for your wheels. I think the pattern calls for a quarter yards, but I had some extra strips and they fit perfect on the strips. So you can use those as well. All right, so let's talk about how we do this. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, you're gonna download this pattern. Now this is a free PDF and it has, the, it has the trailer on one and it has all the parts on the other. And uh, you're gonna to wanna to download these. Now, when I started tracing them, I knew I wanted 20 trailers. So I literally traced 20 trailers, 20 wheels, 20 windows. I did all in, so I had all my tracing done ahead of time. Now these lines are kind of bolded so you can see underneath. And I don't know if you can see through on our top cam here, but you can see these lines really well through here. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace these. Let me grab my pen like this. We're just gonna trace them on like this. It doesn't matter if they're perfect. None of that matters. And here's the bottom part of our, tr our little trailer. And then here's the top part. Now, when you go to cut these out, I'm just gonna trace one. Gotta stay right on that line. It took me three times to get the line. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you don't wanna do your nice cutting right now. You're just gonna rough cut this out like this. And don't cut it fancy yet. And then you're going to go ahead and choose the fabric you want for the bottom of your trailer and you're gonna iron it onto the back. Now, when you draw on this, the heat and bond has two sides. This side, the shiny side, that's the glue side. So you wanna make sure that that's laying down and that you're tracing on the paper side. You're just gonna lay this on here like this and you're gonna iron it on. It doesn't take very long at all. The actual directions are on the heat and bond. I think it's, I don't know, maybe five seconds or something. And now's when you cut out really pretty. And I did, I used my scissors for all of these and, uh, and I just cut them out and you wanna, you wanna cut them out nice. Um, I know I was uh, showing some gals how to do this and they were cutting their heat and bond out just perfect. And I'm like, no, 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 you don't have to do that. Just rough cut it, iron it on and then cut it nice one time. All right, so once you get your, um, your, your, all your pieces traced off and you can see here, when you look at this, this is at the door these are two windows. These are our curtains. This is the center for your wheel right here. And then you've got these little pennants. Now on some of ours, we have pennants. I didn't want to put pennants on all of them. So I put 
one trailer in each row has pennants. So this one has some pennants and this one and this one and this one. And I just mixed them up because I thought it just added a really fun um, look to it. I actually have one of these little glampers and I have pennants hanging on mine. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our trailer bottom and you're going to just kind of fold this back and I kind of roll it with my fingernail to like release it from the, from the fabric and then peel it off and your fabric should be shiny on the back. That's the glue. You're gonna center it up on here. Now, if this is one that you're gonna add pennants to, you wanna just keep it a little lower so you have room at the top, but most of mine I centered up like this. So I have one here that's all kind of cut out and ready to go, and I'm gonna show you how I do this. So I put it on about this high, and then I lay my top on that I've chosen. And on my door, I have my door right here, and I actually already ironed a little window on it. So, um, now the fun part about this, if you look at the little trailers behind me, we've taken some liberty with how we did them. So you can see we have little tiny curtains for the little window and we have big curtains. On this one, I cut my window a curtain color. So, uh, so I, didn't have, I didn't do the little curtains on it. And this one, I put the curtains on. So this is where the creative part really comes in and it's really fun. So there's my window over there. Now, whatever part, the, wherever the window is, your wheel goes below that. So I have traced my wheel and cut it out. And I've even sewn on that little middle part right there. And I lay this just above. And then we need the tongue of the trailer right here, the hitch. We're going to roll this back. I'm going to stick this under here like this. Now, my husband pulls the trailer and he said to me, <laughs> all those hitches some of those hitches are too high and so he thinks they should be low like right like this one right here but i just don't think it matters that much so once you get all your pieces together like this you're going to bring this over to your ironing mat and let me move this so you can see what i'm doing here and then we're just going to do the same thing like we did when we ironed the heat and bond on we're just gonna we are just gonna iron this on like this all right, so now I'm just gonna press this on, make sure my little piece is lined up nice and straight. And I just hold the iron right there for a few seconds and move it and hold it again. And I just wanna make sure that it's stuck really good on there. Um, and then I'm actually going to blanket stitch all the way around it. So, uh, you know, it doesn't, it's not gonna go anywhere anyway. But I just wanna make sure it's on there nice and well, well adhered to my square. All right, so then you're gonna take this over to your sewing machine and we're gonna blanket stitch all the way around it. Now, you can use actually any applique stitch you want. A tiny zigzag would be cute. You can straight stitch these, but I wanna point out some of my campers back here because, you know, we all have these sewing machines that have lots of stitches on them, but we only use a couple for our piecing. But this is where those other stitches come into play. And so like this one right here has a little scallop you can see. This one, look at this one. I did my fa that fancy stitch right across the top. This one right here is another one. This one has the little tiny stars on it. And it was so fun as I did each one of these blocks to just add a little bit of different touch to them, put different, uh, use different fabrics, use different colors. So I have a blanket stitch on my machine here and it is um, three and a half by two and a half. And Basically, what I do is I start next to this wheel right here and I just sew around. So, and it just reaches in and grabs that little trailer fabric. And we're just gonna sew around like this. Come up around the top. And as you do a few of these, you know, I was pretty slow at first, but as I got to the, got to the end, I got pretty fast at this. And you're just going to do all your parts in pieces and hold them down. All right, so what I'm going to do here, 
I've been all the way around the trailer. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually gonna go around the wheel and I'm gonna go around the wheel in, um, in the same thread that I have on. If you wanna change it to black thread, you can do that so it doesn't show. But I have to tell you, on my wheels up here that look like, like this one right here, that you can't see the stitches on, looks like I used black thread. I did not. You know what I used? A Sharpie marker. I just colored in those little tiny threads all the way around, which you can do on all your wheels so they don't show. That's how, they, that's how it is on my little three patch quilt. Um, and so that's a, a nice little trick that makes it really easy because you can just color in those stitches on those. And then, and then you don't have to change your thread. So I guess that tells you I'm kind of a lazy sewer. All right, let me keep going around here. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about here. So see my wheels right here? If I don't want those white threads to show, you can just go along and touch those threads like this and it just colors them dark and you no longer have white threads around your wheels. I think this is pretty ingenious if I do say so myself. Isn't that fun? Just quick like that. And because my Sharpie marker is permanent, it's not gonna go anywhere. You can wash it, whatever you wanna do. And because we're covering it up, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so save your perfection for the straight sides because this is the smallest little circle place, this little one right here. All right, so look at that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and I'm going to finish doing all of these little pieces and then I'll meet you right back here. All righty, we're all done here and look how cute that is. All our little pieces. We're going to clip our threads. So cute. Now the only thing left to do is this row right across the top here. And I can do a regular blanket stitch on there, which I've done on some, or you can find a fancy stitch. And I think we'll go with, let's see, let's go with 41, which is a little kind of a florally thing. Something fun, right? There we go. And then I'm just gonna sew straight across the top. I'm gonna to put my, my presser foot in between the two uh, pieces as they come together. And then we're just gonna let the machine do its work. see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Look at that little stitch right there. That is so sweet. I love that. So these are just so fun. There's so much of a um, ability for uh, creative fun and play with these blocks. And then basically what we're going to do to finish our quilt is we're going to cut our one and a half inch strips that we've cut into 10 inch pieces. And we'll just put one in between every single block like this. We'll do our little sashing pieces. One in between every block right here. And then we'll put a long one in here in between. And so you'll have to match up row to row, but with an inch and a half strip, it isn't, it isn't hard. So uh, then you'll just put them together and you actually have a little outer border out here, add your last border and you're good to go. The fun thing about these is in my little camper, I bet I have three of these. Um, that are pillows, like the pillow I showed you. And I probably have um, one single one hanging on the wall. They're just fun. They're just great fun to make. And uh, this is one of those quilts that you're gonna really enjoy making. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the cute camper quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. <laughs>